in the article where you, where you talk about um, that your first feeling when you become aware of darkness acting out is to go out and destroy it. And uh, let's see if I can find that exactly. Because I don't want to <laughs> um, misquote you. And so when a dark being attacks someone or some place, my first feeling is to annihilate it, to destroy it. But I am stopped by my higher self, in quotes. Instead, I am instructed to focus on it, as when I focus on it, it can be resolved back into oneness. Now, we, I'll get back to that in a second. And then you say, this method of integration is often interpreted by light workers as the dark being having been taken back to the light. But it's not so. And uh, it's another interpretation that I've seen light beings do is that you integrate darkness within yourself. Like do your shadow work shadow and work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love your darker self mm -hmm. and learn to um I don't know, tame it or control it or love it, love it into into becoming light. And uh, I just I wanted to um highlight this paragraph specifically because I've seen it many times uh, even in the teachings that I have read over time and even these days in some of the comments that we get on Telegram mm -hmm. about um, you know loving the, loving the darkness and it was uh, funny how you described it or Larry I forget which one of you in the first hour that the light being can see the dark and what that means, <laughs> I actually understood it for the first time, is that the light being sees only light beings, but slightly dimmed. And if only you can, you can shine them a bit, <laughs> put some shine on them, <laughs> they'll be back <laughs> to their true self, which is obviously light, right? Because that's that's <laughs> that's why you know the a poor dark being is just a light being with some mud on it. So <laughs> it's it's truly light. And it's, um, for me, it was a revelation and also the flip side of the coin that Larry mentioned, that the dark being sees only darkness. Even when you do good deeds, <laughs> you're just a dark <laughs> being hiding very well. <laughs> you're doing a good job of it. Yeah. You're doing it. Right. your type yeah, sneaker. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you can see in the sense that allows for the game to continue, right? Because neither one can see each other the way they truly are. And if they could, then they wouldn't continue their game mm -hmm. because mm. you're not going to shine that mud. It's just not going to get shiny. Mm -hmm. And uh, light being is not trying to tick, trick you. So you can't like outwit them on this trick. They're just going to keep being nice yes. <laughs> or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's like the game falls apart. <clears throat> Which I think is the po po point of what we're talking about is how do you get this game to fall apart? Stop engaging in it. Yeah. First, you got to see it for right. what it is. Right.